Good morning, everyone. Down here this morning, checking on stuff. Got my watermelons, which seem, they seem to be doing really good since giving them some fertilizer. Uh, that's the squash right there, it's not doing all, all that well. It's got one squash on it. I would have figured by now to have a bunch. There's, there's really not a whole lot. There's flowers everywhere. Everywhere you look, you see flowers but no no actual squash grown off of them and I got that one squash right right here as y'all can see it just it's not grown as fast as you know they're not producing like they should I don't even like squash I mean I'll eat it if I have to if it's fried right but I'm just not. I'm just not a fan of squash or cucumbers. I need to spread some mulch down here around them. So, not. I need to get down here later this evening and do some weeding. Uh, what do we have? Boston, Boston pickling cucumbers. Uh. I've got, there's one right here, a little bit little, here's one, here's one right here, little, there's one right there, my finger is, I don't know how well y'all can see that, this is the lighting, these other cucumbers are, let me read it, other cucumbers are lemon cucumber. I've never heard of a lemon cucumber. It must be something new. I'm guessing that. Let me look. Guessing that is round. Uh, there's a cucumber. There's a cucumber right there. Give. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, the damn cucumbers will. <laughs> start producing they've got a ton of flowers on them when we got when we had the squash buds they were eating leaves and shit off of them the, you know you can see the damage from from them since I've sprayed them with pesticide they ain't you know there, there's no buds out here to hurt them we are gonna have a few tomatoes ripen by probably t today tomorrow uh, there's some romas right there that'll be right by tomorrow my wife's grape tomatoes are doing pretty good she's loaded with grape tomatoes and I've got I got this Cherokee purple right here that's starting to change colors this part of this this part of the garden right here it's in the shade still um, if I could I would cut that tree out and then these trees out through here out so that way we get more sun down in here eventually I may get a bulldozer to come through here and clear all this out here out so that way it opens it up more for sun because it shows that to that there's east if you take this group of trees out there out this whole spot right here gets sun throughout the morning time and you know up till probably Probably four o'clock is when the sun quits hitting right here. Cause it's right there is west. It sets right over there in that in that area. I, I, I wish I could clear this part out too. So that way, like I said, so that way this area gets double the amount of sunshine. I'm trying to grow what we were growing on on a limited amount of sun sunshine. It you can see that that's in the sun right out there. The stuff, the stuff that's in the sun longer is doing better. The stuff, the stuff that's in the shade right now is doing okay. But if I could take out this one tree right here, I guarantee you it'd do so much more, more better. I don't know. As far as falling that thing, that'd be a tough one. I'd be risking, right now I'd be risking falling that thing right this way. 
I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I might be able to. No, I ain't even gonna try it. Don't say if I had to. If I had me a tall ladder, I'd get up there and start trimming some limbs out, trim them down so that way it lets in more sunlight. But that's enough for now. Uh, yeah, it, if I if I didn't follow it towards towards this way, it, it, it'd smash everything here. Be a, be a waste of time. I may do that this coming winter time. I may I may cut that just cut a couple of these trees out so that way so that way I can so that way I can uh improve this area and get, get give it more sunlight. And see my I don't know if you can see it but my tree stand right here. I had to trim some limbs, cut some vines off this tree that there were honeysuckles going up that one trunk right there. Well, I've got it. Got it attached for the most part. I gotta get up there and put a ratchet strap around the other, on the back side of it to hold it still. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Not just yet, I'm not going up there yet. I gotta get up there as soon as possible and try to, like I said, strap it down so that way we can target shoot for for hunting. But I guess I'm gonna keep this one short, short today. And I was thinking about going and getting some uh, some soil, some mulch and soil for for this raised bed she's we're gonna build. Uh, I really don't. Honestly, I don't. I don't want to go to town today. Um, just the other day, we got like almost two, two, two inches of rain. The creek, the creek rose up, started flowing. It, I mean, it was flowing good too. And now, now after only a day and a half without rain, I'll be right back. A day and a half without rain and it's already starting to dry up. I wouldn't give it but maybe another week and this thing will be completely dried up. Uh, we get we get late summer month hard rains where it'll rain like two inches, three three inches and it'll this creek will start flowing for a day or two. You can see where all the all the leaves you know the everything that washed down when it when it started flowing again where it got to. Uh, if I had a weed eater, I'd be down here cutting these damn, this damn, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you call this grass stuff, but you see it in all the water holes. If you're fishing from a boat, it makes good habitat for bass, I tell you that. And crappie and all, all sorts of other fish. But, uh, I also got a mow today. I have to go get gas for the lawnmower. Bees are doing pretty good. They're doing really good. Here's the apple trees. This one's the Wolf River apple that, that we had planted. It's doing excellent. And then this one over here is... I think, I, I think this one's the Fuji. Let me look. Yeah, this one is the Fuji apple. This one's the Fuji apple. God, let me get that out of the shade. Fuji. So, and then, and then we have our uh, our elderberry. I don't know if y'all can. I don't, I don't know if y'all can see that, but. It's, it's loaded with berries. You know, right here. Not so many on this part right here. This this piece right here, it pretty much what it produced, it dropped. And there's a bunch of them. There's a little cluster right here. A little cluster right there. Hardly any on this on this one, as y'all can see. 
There was a cluster or two up through here, but 